What up, what up, everybody? Good morning. It's Wednesday. You know what that means? It's hump day. <laughs> and uh, it's me. It's Jessica. It's day 109 of our motivational videos. Like, it blows my mind every day when I have to say a higher number, you guys. I just can't believe it. I feel like just yesterday, I was like, you know, I'm going to do motivational videos. <laughs> like, it's just insane. It's amazing, and just thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me, everybody. You know, I know that I'm here supporting you, rooting you on to change your life and to change yourself. Um, like I, uh, two days ago, day 107 on our video, I posted all my social media contacts. You guys hit me up. Seriously, if you're anywhere around, you know, the Flint area, you know, Genesee County, hit me up. Because I'm having an amazing opportunity event today, my first home event. But I got two great people coming to people that I'm blessed to call my friends, thanks to this opportunity. Um, and they're just coming to speak and share their knowledge and their stories. And uh, we're gonna share some amazing stuff with you. Got some snacks, some drinks, you know, for those that are 21 and up. Those who aren't, sorry, but you can still sample products, so that's even better. Um, <laughs> And also, uh, if the rain holds off or clears up for us later, you know, parents want to do a bonfire so we can really just build relationships and experience the culture, introduce you to how, like, amazing, you know, everybody in this organization is in our business. Um, uh, I don't want to just keep talking about my event. I'm just really, really excited. My heart's, like, pounding through my chest. Uh, so we'll get to the quote just make sure you hit me up if you want to come like I'd love to meet y'all I'd love to let y'all hear what we do um, okay our quote of the day I'm sorry I'm just really excited for tonight so our quote of the day says I will prepare and someday my chance will come Abraham Lincoln I think it's pretty deep for being so short you know I will prepare and someday my chance will come. Man, is that true? Okay, let me tell you, I have personal experience on this, all right? Prepare. When you set your mind on your goals and your dreams, you guys, whether, you know, I'm just going to use myself for an example, all right? When I decided that I wanted to join Vima, I didn't have the money for my affiliate pack. I knew that's what I wanted to get when I got into this business. And um, I knew that's what set, would set me up for success, right? So I, what did I do? I reallocated my money. I stopped spending it on junk. I saved for a month straight to get my $500 up. I actually got more than that because I got a whole ton of stuff. But the point is I still just chose to save my money. I set my mind on my goal and I did the things that I had to do. I gave up, you know, buying new clothes or going out to eat. And I gave up that for a month, you guys. You know, just say no sometimes. And I saved my money and I got my affiliate pack. But in that time that I was saving money, I was plugging in, okay? I knew what I was going to do, so why not prepare and set myself up for success? Because my chance is going to come. I know it is. It's right around the corner. I have a job. I'm working. I'm saving money. I got my mindset, so plug in, right? So I did. I went to Super Saturdays, and that's really what sold me. And that's where I met, you know, my one of my greatest best friends now, Natalie Smith, you know, like, it's just amazing the people you can meet, the culture, and it's just, you know, you look around you on your normal days, and just in the normal world, because FEMA world is so, we're, we're, it's just amazing, um, but in the outside world, um, <laughs> it's a lot of negativity, right? People don't know what they don't know, they run away from it, we naturally, like, shun stuff that we don't understand or have never heard of and so they don't get it but we think negatively we think in the mindset of an employee we have to work that nine to five you know blah blah but you don't you can do something different you know you just have to prepare your and change your mindset and do the little things so by me going to those events by me getting on some conference calls you know getting that access by making relationships with people and telling them my determination, letting them see my ambition, you know, got me to get in under the radar, you know, without 
being in yet because I knew that's what I was going to do and everybody's seen it they believed it you know you see me do videos every day you see I'm consistent some days I may be a little bit late but I still do it every single day you hear me all right you guys got to plug in on stuff every single day when you make your mind up on what you want to do you better stick to it okay because you don't want to miss your opportunity you don't want to miss the chance and this presents itself opportunities present themselves when you really need them okay and you need to just sometimes step back and you need to evaluate the value of the opportunity put in front of you and if you are just afraid because it's something different you know never just jump both feet in you know stick one foot in the water and get used to it before jumping all in we never want somebody to just go quit school, quit their job, and just do this thing. We want to set you up for success. So I feel that's why we're different. That's why I feel like we are amazing people. That's why I think we have our own like little world going on because, and we're just trying to like spread it. We're trying to have this infection of positivity and motivation and healthiness and independence from corporations so that we can make our own money. We can feel free. We can have the time freedom and you know, it doesn't feel like work when you love what you do. When you just go around and you introduce yourself to people and amazing products and amazing company and, and amazing virtues, like, it's not work, you guys. I don't know why we call it work. That's why I like it when we call it a grind, cause, and, or, I don't even really like that. It's just making friends. Like, it's really making relationships and making friends and just changing your life for the better. Like, and then possibly getting paid for it amazing like love it so like Abraham Lincoln says you guys go out there and prepare because your chance will come <laughs> it might be today it could be tomorrow if you're not happy with your situation just reevaluate see what you can change up see what you can say no to sometimes and <clears throat> excuse me figure out where you can reallocate your money so that you can help yourself okay Everybody always wants immediate success. They want immediate, you know, get out of debt. They want the, just a quick fix, okay? There are no true quick fixes that are going to be forever lasting, okay? Because you have to build um, habits. You have to create new habits and new mind structure, you know, the way you think, the way you operate. You have to change it because let's, the way we grew up wasn't, wasn't, I'm not saying like you were raised wrong. I'm, I wasn't raised wrong. It's just a whole, we were raised in a different mindset, okay? And now that we're in our 20-somethings, 30s, we're waking up, okay? We're realizing that we're in the worst economy since the Great Depression. And, you know, yeah, ooh, minimum wage just went up. But guess what's happening everywhere every, with everything? Inflation. All the prices of everything are going up. So that measly 40 cents or whatever it got raised isn't even helping, okay? It doesn't even make a difference because you just raised the price of everything else. People couldn't afford it then. They're still not going to afford it now. And it's just it's like a tease, all right? It's just a constant battle of people wanting to make it but they don't want to really they still just count on somebody else all right think about if those like i used to work at 7-eleven all right i had an amazing job i was making good money and then all of a sudden boom they close all their doors in our in our city boom like that and you're out of a job now what you know what i'm saying if you have your own business you got that stability you got that safety net to fall back on you know work and then if you do this you'll never just be left with nothing so, prepare yourself for success because someday your chance will come. Your chance is right now, actually, because you got my contact information. Hit me up if you're not already in this. If you don't want to be in it, hit me up and I can just help you get on the right direction with wherever you want to go. Because I'm the type of girl I really do like to work. I don't like being told what to do, but I just like that feeling of just busting my ass and working hard. Like, I love to do that no matter what it is. That's why I am a lady boss because I totally kill I go full force and anything I do I give 6,000% of my efforts to everything and I feel like everybody else needs to get on my level if not surpass me because I work hard 
and I just I challenge you guys to work harder than me. I challenge you to think more positive than me so that you are preparing yourself for your chance. Your chance is today, your chance is tomorrow. So don't don't but don't wait till tomorrow. Because somebody else is gonna take their chance today. Why not you? Peace out, y'all.